What's up guys? I know it's uh, it's been quite a while since I posted a video. Uh, I think probably over a year, which is pretty funny, but it is what it is. I know. I just want to get back into it. So I recently just uh, picked up this uh, this E30 and I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, what I'm going doing with Auto Armor and stuff like that. So I want to talk about the E30, some new projects that I have coming up and some new products that I drop. One of them is uh, this hat, as you can see. Um... Just a, pr a pretty simple everyday hat. That, that, that's, that's what I go for with a lot of my things. It's it's stuff that you could wear every day, stuff that you wear you know, when you wanna go out and stuff like that. Me, I'm a, a pretty simple guy, so I try to incorporate that into everything, but still making it with the best quality and, and you know, shit like that. Um, embroidery on the front, steering wheel embroidery, script on the side. Comes in two colorways, this blue, and I hate to say, but this might be my favorite, this green, which is it's pretty dope. Uh, and the reason why I hate to say it, I just feel like I've been biased towards green lately. I don't know why, but I just think green is pretty fire. So I'm not going to lie, it does feel weird talking right now because I haven't talked in front of a camera in a while. But it is what it is. We're here. So let's get to it. The E30. I purchased it during quarantine from my neighbor, uh, which was pretty cool to him, man. He's super chill. Gave me a great deal on it. And it's funny because I had just sold my Datsun. And when I sold my Datsun, I kind of wanted to just take the money and, you know, save it, use it for other stuff or buy it kind of a newer project car. And when I saw the E30, you know, it was just one of those cars that was always on my bucket list. But with the prices rising like crazy, I didn't really think I could get one. So when this deal came along, it was one of those things where I kind of just had to hop on it, just take it. And it is what it is. So it's a 30 year old car you know it, it needs work it's not perfect but i think it's a better example than a lot of e30s that i've seen and i think i got it for a good a better price than i've seen you know i don't know if that was very verbiage but i got it for a good price than i've seen you know other e30s go for so i was really happy with it i'm really excited and it's one of those things where as, as a car enthusiast you always want like, like a cool car to like mess around with that like i just my audi s4 went back i sold my type r on my boy and i got rid of my dots and so i kind of felt like i had nothing and, and it's weird building a brand like this when you don't have a car that you're messing around with. So getting the E30 was cool because it was a clean base, completely stock. Um, it is a sedan, so I feel like that was like one of their more uh, underrated chassis. Like nobody really wants a sedan. Like everybody either wants a coupe or an M3. An M3, I just can't afford, you know? So it's a sedan, it's pretty dope. Red, which I like, I never had a red car before. So, you know, I have big plans for it. I do want to swap it. I, I have, I actually have, I am going to swap it. So I, I bought the engine for it already. I'm having it built. Um, I don't know if I want to talk about that in this vlog, maybe in the next one, where, you know, you could talk with the engine builder and, you know, I'm going to ask him a few questions and shit like that. So you can really see where I'm going with it. But the main thing I want to do with this car is build like an OEM plus car, have it look super clean and use it in a way where I could daily, because I'm actually daily in this car right now. I drive this car every single day I drive this car. So I want to build an engine and build a car where I could drive it every day comfortably, super reliable. I could take it to the track, either drag it or do a time attack on the circuit. And I'm toying with the idea of a mild drift. You know, I got to hit on my boy Keith at uh, Koi Auto Works and see if he can help me out with that. You know, if we can find like a nice balance with that. But um, just it, it's really just a fun car. You know, I just want to have fun with it. It's one of those things where I do want to keep it for a long time. I can see why, you know, BMW enthusiasts really... Uh, really uh, like this car a lot and, uh, and and why they like BMWs in general. You know, it's pretty solid and shit like that. So it's a cool car, man. I, I just want to have fun with it and I, and I think I am going to have a lot of fun with it. But I want to show you guys the car real quick. Um, it is my, my new new to me E30. It's a 91 318i. So it's the slowest of the slow. This car, I think I pee faster than this car, bro. It's, it's, it's slow as shit, but it's cool. It, it's comfortable to drive. Um, one of the things I did do where I, I'll show you is... Um, I changed out the wheels. It came with the OEM bottle caps. I think they're 13 inch, correct me if I'm wrong. But I mean, what, what am I doing that? I'm a pretty big guy. So getting into a, even a small car like this felt felt weird than a 13 inch wheels. It's like, where am I going with this? So I got uh, I got OEM BBSs and uh, they're wrapped in some shit. I don't know, but they're wrapped in, they were brand new tires. And it's right now the car is on Bilstein shocks and H&R springs. My camera's falling. I don't know, if it's like moving. I don't know if it's gonna fall, but. So I did that, AMS over in uh, Linden helped me out with that. They gave me a really good price, so I highly recommend them. But um, like I said, the car does need work. I wanna go over the car, show you guys a few things. And uh, you know, we take it from there. It's gonna be a nice little journey. And, and with Auto Amore, 
I want to do like a cars and coffee soon. I'm just looking for any lo any local brands out there, local coffee shops, or, or even a local auto shop that wants to link up with me. If you're seeing this, let me know. You know, but uh, I do want to do a nice cars and coffee soon, but before before the summer is all, all over, and I have like probably three more items I'd like to drop before summer. You know, it's hard growing the brand. Dude. I'm a one man show, but it is what it is. I definitely love the challenge, and I like I like where it's going. So I want to keep the momentum going. Like I said, uh, if you can, it, it sounds weird, but if you can, uh, just just support as much as you can. You know, comment, like, subscribe. I've never thought I'd hear myself saying that, but fuck it. Just make sure you smash those buttons and, and, and let's get this running up, man. I, I feel like I don't work to be something great, and I, I'm looking forward to it. But uh, let me show you guys the car. It's a pretty pretty dope car. So I'm gonna start with the outside on the passenger side. Like I said, I got the the new BBSs on it. Um, I believe those are 15 inch, if I'm not mistaken. Four door black leather interior. From my my knowledge, from what I what I've heard, those are the sports seats. I don't know if that's really them or not. Excuse, that's my jacket and my mask. Sorry about that. But um, those are the sports seats. From what I've heard, if I'm wrong, please somebody let me know. I like them. I just don't know if I'm gonna keep them on the car. I, I do. I like cloth better than leather. You know, shoot me. I, I just think cloth is just a way better type of seat to me, especially in a sports car. Um, the paint is fading, so definitely gonna need a paint job. Bumper's all messed up, which is funny because well, not funny because I have to pay for it. But that bumper was mint, but literally the day before I bought the car, the car got hit in the front. So I mean, the buyer did help me out with that, you know, pricing wise. But I was a little upset. But it is what it is. Um. Yeah, this paint fading right here sucks. But in a way, it is weird. I don't, I don't know if you, if you guys could uh, film me on this, but I kind of like when cars have like some type of like cosmetic flaws because it just shows that you use it. I gotta hit up these guys. I'm missing that cap right there, but I think those wheels are super dope. Um, just gives a car a better look, and they're a little bit more meatier. I do want to get a little bit of a bigger tire, but we'll get that side later. The back of the car, that's my plate, who cares? You see it when I drive. Um, This is fading, man. I don't know if I could buff this out or what, and I don't know what that is. I don't think that's, it looks like rust, but it doesn't feel like rust, which is weird. I don't know what the hell that is. You feel me? Oh, shit. So the back seat um, definitely needs to be reupholstered. Uh, carpet. I would like to switch it to black, but not a huge concern to me right now. My main goal right now is work on suspension uh, and then drop the motor in there with the new trans. The car is a five-speed. It did come with that. So that was a plus. Steering wheel. I like this steering wheel. I would like to get it rewrapped. I'd like to get a renowned steering wheel. I think those are super dope. Uh, mileage is unknown on this car. Let me pop this for you. So... Um, yeah, that's the slowest of the slow right there, man. That's, uh, I don't even know what the hell that is. What is that, uh, M20 or some shit like that? All I know is it comes like 130 horsepower and I'm going nowhere. But it's cool. I like it. It's a project. It's going to be built. It's another nice little shot of it right there. You can see the Ottawa Moore hat in the corner. Like I said, guys, man, these hats are pretty dope, bro. I just put them online. If you guys could support, the, the hats are, are fire, bro. Uh, great quality. You can wear them every day. I've been wearing the green one like crazy. I'm trying to rock the blue one a little bit more. You can see right there, auto on one on the side. And shout out to this video, bro. I'm shooting this video on my iPhone. Shout out to the iPhone. Camera's always sick on it. Uh, if anybody wants to link up and just go for a cruise, always down. I just work like a dog. But uh, if you could live with that, let's go for a cruise, dude. And like it's crazy because some parts of the car that paint doesn't look bad, like right there. But there's other parts of the paint looks like shit. But I, I, I've been getting attached to this car, man. Uh, I see why people go crazy over these. I would like to get another one, um, a coupe, or or an M3. But M3 I don't really see happening. But a coupe I do see happening. But I gotta find the good deal because the deal I got on this was unreal. So if I could get like a coupe, a great deal on it, I'd love that. And like I said earlier, we're swapping this bad boy. And what we're swapping this with, I don't know if people are going to agree with me or not. I don't really care, but that shit is going to be fire. 
and the car's gonna move and you you know you know what i'm about man the car's gonna move it's gonna be dope i don't know what i want to do with this i thought about selling it because i don't really have space but i do think it'll be cool to like clean it up get it polished and like make a coffee table out of it or if anybody wants to buy it i don't give a fuck just buy it hit me up but that's it guys there it is auto i'm always e30 the hats we got some other stuff coming i got shorts dropping soon please stay tuned for that and i'm working on a dope new shirt and a bunch of stuff for the fall and winter and like i said this always feels crazy as hell saying but comment like subscribe just follow me follow the journey and, and just be part of it man thanks guys